Your name's Sasha? And we, we've got a discussion to have, you and me. <laughs> we need it's to, about these things. You know what? Don't take it personal. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Sasha Palmberg. I'm running networknews.com. And I'm Chippy from umpcportal.com and midmoves.com. Um, we wanted to talk about the differences between exactly. networks, mids, UMPCs, didn't we? Um, you know, we already have arguments about mids and UMPCs for almost two years right now because I'm always wondering how Steve can use these devices and what yeah. the user scenario is because I'm obviously a lover of netbooks or that's an advertible, yeah. that's how I call them. Well, I'm a lover of netbooks too. I mean, I think the, th the thing is, and I have a netbook, and I've been using a netbook, but I've also been using a, a mid as well. I think the whole whole idea is that there's devices that are there for certain usages. Yeah. Like, for example, we talk about the keyboard on a netbook, don't we? Right. And how it has to be a certain size, which means a certain screen size for design aesthetics, and, uh, and there's your netbook. But then when you're moving around and you want to do maybe thumbing, then of course the keyboard needs to be smaller, you need to be able to do that sort of stuff. Does it? So I've been seeing you 80% of the time using your netbook. On a table. You're running mid moves. <laughs> on a table. On a table. So actually you would have seen me pulling out my uh, U820 when I'm just yeah. kind of going down the escalators right. or standing right. in a queue, uh, get out the U820 and just fire it up and, uh, and do short yeah. stuff. I mean, it's just like, that's like the snacking thing that Pancage was talking about, yeah. snack and go. Yeah. Like, open up, quickly connect, get your information. And I've been using the U820 for my calendar and stuff here at IDF, so. so but you haven't had a, a mid or a UMPC, well, have you? I, I still have my Willif S5 with me, oh, right. but my user scenario for it is a little bit different. Of course, it has no keyboard, which makes it hard for me to use. Right. So I'm using it for a very, very yeah, limited scenario, mm. which is mainly um, just checking, checking my Google Mail, or using it as an upload device to my videos, right? right? I'm just yeah. uh, editing my video, getting it into the build of S5, and while I'm on the go, I'm just uploading my videos. Mm. Um, so uh, I have, I definitely have to admit, right? Even though it's a mid, right? And I'm running a netbook news site. Um, I'm, I'm very appealed by this model because it has a. I mean, yeah. Hey, come on, actually, this is a small netbook, isn't it? It's a yeah, but I th again, I think it's different usage scenarios. I mean, for example, like this will run f Skype and Skype video as well. Okay. So it's actually one of the smallest devices you can buy for Skype right. video. Why would you need that for Skype video? Because you don't need the keyboard. Right. So that's perfect for that sort of but scenario. But it has a keyboard. Yeah. So in fact, I can do other stuff on it as well. So it's kind of multi-use as well. So right. actually, I think this is a really cool microblogging microblogging tool yeah. and a quick content creation tool. You know. But how can you see it? You know, don't you think that this market between a smartphone and a netbook has just got them small, and it's getting kind of squeezed in between these two devices? There's a lot of convergent hap convergence happening. We might, I mean, we can't disagree with the fact that there's a lot of convergence happening. But there are right. certain things that just will never go to a smartphone. I mean, navigation's a classic one for me. Yeah. Smartphone, uh, using a smartphone for in-car navigation is just damn dangerous, you know? Putting a right. smartphone, you can't read it properly. Screen size needs to be bigger. Right. Um, the other example is PMPs, you know? Right. If you want that, uh, you, well, if you want that uh, seat back experience, you need five inches of screen. You can't do it on a three and a half inch screen. It's painful. Yeah, it's so there's certain things that, that just can't move down and converge onto onto the smaller devices. Right. And likewise, there's certain things that these things and smartphones can't do that can be converged up onto a device that can provide like a, a desktop input typing experience. Absolutely. So, you know, I think all people talk about this like this space in the middle between smartphones and netbooks, which is like the, the tweener category of devices. Mm -hmm. You think about what's in there, personal media players, ebook readers, uh, gaming, uh, personal navigation, uh, there's a whole load of successful devices already in that market. But I don't think, well, and let's face it, no marketing team in the world is gonna let everything converge onto one device, because <laughs> the whole <laughs> IT industry sense. will implode if that happens. Exactly. <laughs> you know what, actually, let's, let's talk about the Intel Atom developer program. Yeah. Well, uh, the way I'm seeing it for a netbook is uh, something that completely uh, can generate new user scenarios for a netbook, because right now what we're using is mainly a desktop operating system on a netbook that is yeah. some, a decade old, and we're using the ordinary application that we already know from our desktops or from our bigger laptops. Yeah. Um, how do you think um, um, the Intel Atom developer program would support the mid hardware, and how can you see the difference between a netbook and the mid hardware for this? Well, I think actually the beautiful thing about it is that in terms of like software architecture and hardware architecture, there's very few differences. So like a developer can come along 
and build, let's say, a social networking app right. that just rolls out across netbooks, mids, UMPCs, whatever else is based on Atom and Moblin, all the way down to upcoming smartphones. Yeah. So for like the first time, I think, you've got uh, the ability for developers to come in and just hit a whole set of markets in one go. Now, of course, there's different things you've got to consider screen sizes and input methods and stuff like that, but in general, I think it's a great thing to have it going across uh, the whole platform. That's So talking about differences, right. I think it's the wrong thing to talk about. It's talking about the similarities exactly. so you, between you, the devices. You think that these two platforms are complementing each other? Um, well, I mean, yeah. that's what you're doing there's very right little. Now. I mean, at, you're using okay. both of them. When you talk about very high prices, $1,000 prices for yeah. products, overlap becomes important. You can't justify a device or multiple devices when they cost 1,000 euros. Yeah. But when we get down to 299, 299, and a 299 smartphone, you've got three devices that you can have for thousand yeah. dollars. So it again gets really interesting. People, can, I mean, people can then buy multiple devices and, and not have to worry about justifying it too much. Right. What do you think? What do you, do you think these complement each other? Do you think? Um, well, you know, my, my main user scenario is a smartphone and a netbook in these days. But I have a couple. Of, well, I have two uh, mids right now. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to use this UMID M1 or the M2 version to really get into yeah. it and to check it out on an everyday user uh, base. Yeah. And uh, I, I think that, that this uh, UMID uh, uh, MID could definitely you know, support my way of content producing yeah. or the way I, how I have to check information on the internet. So yeah, I'm yeah. absolutely with you. And yeah. Especially you know, when, we're, when we're talking about the future, most town platforms, the mock-ups that we've seen over here, oh my yeah. goodness, yeah. fantastic devices. And therefore, I really think um, you know the future is bright for these uh, different platforms. Yeah. They're complementing each other. Uh, we will have applications on the Intel App Store for both devices, for both platforms, and so it should be interesting. Yeah. I think somehow you know they can live along each other. When um, was it in the, the Paul Ottolini keynote? He talked about the the continuum. That's about that's it, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, that's it like single platform, single software architecture, and then. I, the App Store, I'm so glad they did the App Store. It's, to me, it was just a no-brainer right. that well, they had done that. You know, it, 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 it definitely comes together. I mean, we're also running the mobility.com site together yeah. and yeah. doing our podcast well, that, and we're giving our different... That, that's the funny thing. We exactly. run Netbook News and Mid, uh, Mid Moves, and yet we work together so closely. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. Anyway. So, yeah, it was good talking to yeah. you. I still prefer my Netbook. He still prefers his MID. So, whatever you want to choose, you know, make the right choice. <laughs>